Unbelievable. I think time's actually going backwards. Actually, it's inhumane to keep school open when it's this hot. Doesn't this school have an air conditioning system? Look on the bright side. No way Mrs. Doorhammer's giving us homework with only two weeks of school left. Here's your homework. Even though there's only two weeks of school left. Aww. Is this thing on? Yes, it's, it's on. on. I know there's a rumor going round that when a classroom reaches the melting point of asbestos, we have to let you go home. Yeah! yeah! It's not true. Oh. Now, I don't like the heat any more than you. Another thing I hate is when you toss bread in the park and, and the big duck runs and pushes the little duck out of the way, even though it was the little duck you really wanted to give it to. Shoo, big ducky, shoo! Too late, too late, he's eaten the little ducky's bread. Guys, you know our group project? I've got an idea for it that'll let us stay up all night. <laughs> you mean this isn't night now? That explains why my math teacher yesterday was a fridge. Oh, oh, I know the answer! Now, I don't want to get you three excited, but I think I'm going to be made head of gender studies at the university. I, I said I don't want to get you excited. That's great, Dad. Do you work? At the university? Yes. Cool. Where's Graham Graham? Ready? Whenever you are! <laughs> oh, we hit the mother load, Agnes. Over here, boys. Mouth to mouth resuscitation. No waiting. Ah, uh, here we are. Now, the eggs come from a farm that's not only free range, the chickens have their own midwives. Oh, it's a beautiful baby. Egg. So, tell me everything that happened in school today. Because remember, I am very interested in your lives. Kate? I think I've reached puberty. <laughs> My chest has hurt the last couple of days. Uh, that's because the cat was sleeping on it? Think I'll eat something. Then I'll have a nap. Then I'll eat something. Room some furniture. Have another nap. Then... Kate. Though it will be a wonderful, liberating experience crossing over into womanhood, let me remind you, you're seven! One word, Dad. Estrogen. If I'm going to be a major player, I need this. There's estrogens in meat. If Mad Cow doesn't kill me, I'll be voluptuous before Christmas. Up, just. Whoop, getting dark. Gotta go. Whoa, champ. We're too so late. I wish I didn't have to stay out all night, Dad, but... Group project. School orders. See you in the morning! Kate. Kate, listen, honey. Becoming a woman, which I assure you you're not, has nothing to do with body shape. Ooh. Dad, get real. If I don't start getting curves all over the place, I'll never fill out my Cervace business suit. Goon, you okay? I had some coffee so I could stay awake. I don't think it's taken effect yet. <laughs> you want me to run to Italy and get you a pizza? Wow, I didn't know there was an international sign for sudden plunge ahead put lids on all beverages. Ah, the creatures of the night. Have you noticed they're mostly mosquitoes? And shouldn't you be in bed? No. I'm looking at the stars for a school project. Boy, am I glad I flunked out of kindergarten. Anyway, I got some information for you. You never have information for me. You always let me figure it out for myself. This time's different. 
<clears throat> the winner of tomorrow's third horse race at Salvino Park will be... Oh, no, wait. That's for someone else. No! Give me that one! Let me see it! Sorry. Tampering with Celestial Mail is a federal... <whistles> Fifteen to one. I'll split it with you. No can do. Ah, Eggert, here we are. <clears throat> Something big is about to end. That's it? Pal's wick. I've got to go. Was there anything else? Let me see. The lottery number is stocks about to double. Nope, nothing else for you. Hey, get away! Go on! <sighs> Yo, so we gonna party all night? Guaranteed. Goon drank a whole pot of coffee. Look, I'm a hummingbird! <laughs> Want me to swim to New Zealand? Ooh, look, a stick! I'll be right back! <laughs> Donut. Donut. Cola. Cola. View heavens! Mr. Jimmy? The Amazon Rainforest, the Green Crested Pond Wallower, the Bayview Sewer Crocodile. What do they have in common? They're all, like, really ugly? Sandra, be serious! This is for half our grade! They're all part of the endangered world. Well, duh! No wonder! Look at them! Who take that alligator anywhere? Crocodile! Whatever! The endangered world needs a makeover or it's like never going anywhere. Apart from that being the most ditz-headed idea I ever heard, it's brilliant! If we combine my love of the earth with your love of fashion, we can make endangered wildlife too beautiful to kill! Is that a new star? Actually, that's the moon. Oh yeah, I see the flag. And the golf balls. More sticks! More sticks! <laughs> ah, this is the life. ODing on sugar and grease when we should be in bed. Hmm. I can't sleep when it's this hot anyway. Yeah. You sweat. You kick the covers off. Well, I kick the covers off. That's not why I can't sleep. My grand gram keeps her teeth in the freezer. Oh, ah. That's better. Hey, here's the plan. We pick some star, pretend we discovered it, right? And get a B minus. By the time Mrs. Doorhammer discovers it's a fake job, school's out and it's too late to change our grade. Swift. Quicker to bring the tree up here. Anyone else want coffee? I can run to Brazil, no problem. Let's use that one. Actually, there's nothing at those coordinates. Sure there is. Look. Holy cow! Everyone in town's here to pay tribute to you. Yeah, and for the free trumpet breeze. Ah. Is this thing on? Yes, yes it's, it's on. on! As vice principal of Alcatraz Junior High, I want, I want to, to congratulate, congratulate our young Galileo. A plus, boys. I'm his little sister. Although in three months' time, I'll be a curvaceous, powerful CEO. As the discoverer of the star, I'd like to name it after someone who's always been a light in my life. I name you Julie Smockford Major. Also, I'd like to mention my friend Goon is selling a big pile of sticks. Pelswick! Hi, Dad. I know you're real proud of me in a non-sibling preferential over any other sibling way. No, I mean, of course, but look, I looked through the university telescope. It's not a star. Of course it's a star. And I've written a special song for the occasion. Twinkle, twinkle, star so red, wouldn't steal a Takis bread. What? what? It's the plutonium powered Sosny space station. In 48 hours, it's going to hit Bayview, destroying everything for a thousand miles, initiating a nuclear winter, and annihilating all life on Earth! <laughs> then I've got another song. 
ho, 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 ho. Everybody, I know this is devastating news, especially to those of us who are eagerly awaiting the next Jedi space flick. But it's important now that we're all in the same boat, or chair, or whatever, and help each other out. Steal the square-headed kid's firework! Something big is about to end. Is this thing on? Yes, yes it's, it's on. on. I know there's a rumor that when the world's ending and the cities are aflame with panic, looting, and random savagery, we have to let you go home. It's not true. Huh? <laughs> You won't even let us out of school early for the end of the Earth? Education's important. Without it, you'd have no future. We don't have a future anyway! In 46 hours, we're gonna be nuclear toast! <laughs> Boyd isn't complaining. That's because even without Armageddon, Boyd didn't have a future. My ruling stands. And, need I add... Nyeh, 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 nyeh. <laughs> oh, I love doing that. Here's your homework. There's a test tomorrow when your group projects are due Thursday. Except for Pelswick's, which will be dropping from the sky on Friday. Oh. Hey, thanks for naming the end of the world after me. Really? Nice touch. Oh. What are you going to do tonight? I thought I might work on my plans to hide out underground until the radiation settles, then lead the surviving rebel forces in their fight against the glowy-eyed mutant human uprising. Better than my plan. I was going to watch wrestling. Where's Goon? Shopping for nuclear winter clothing. I need something that says hip and casual and can withstand a bunch of that radiation stuff. And what the heck? One of those hats where you pull a string on top of the hands clap. <laughs> I had so many dreams, but how am I going to humiliate every kid in school in only 48 hours? You can't do it at that pace. It's an art, not an assembly line thing. <laughs> You can call me Flora Eyes. I'm really sensitive about that. Thanks. I just need a little quiet time here. Okay? What are you doing, Agnes? I was wondering why as we age, we get smaller, but our underwear gets bigger. Never mind that. I've got a plan. Oh, we're not going to kidnap cute firemen again, are we? Oh, then no time for that. We've got to save the world. You and me are going to fly up to the space station and blow it to smithereens. So we've already got the dynamite, and we just need the rocket. Um, I don't know, Sandra. Are we going to, like, abandon two worthy causes and a possible A in our group project just because the Earth's about to be consumed in nasty, yucky flames? You're right, of course. Who could, like, find it in their heart to destroy the habitat of a threatened Malaysian gibbon when it's wearing a pre-wrinkled Ignacio Fulgari gown with matching purse? And he laid his Hammer down. <laughs> oh, yeah. Dad, shouldn't you be at work? I quit. But what about your promotion at that, uh, place where you work? Ah, promotion schmomotion. I've been a fool wasting my life in a dry academic sinkhole when I could have been driving around in a microbus following Megadirt. Dad, I'm sorry about all this. I wish I'd discovered something fun, like a potato shaped like a female talk show host, which... It'd actually be pretty easy when you think about it. 
That's okay, son. The end of the world is no one's fault. Except, of course, for those corner-cutting Zosnians. They scrimped on fuel and fell from the skies. So we were eaten by mutants with glowy eyes. Where's Kate? <coughs> Come on, estrogen. I have 45 hours to become a successful businesswoman, wife, and mother. <coughs> <coughs> What are you doing up here? And where'd you get those outfits? Oh, well, we bought them in the gift shop. Those are made of paper. Oh, that doesn't matter, cute stuff. We only need them long enough to save the Earth. <laughs> in case I don't come back, give these to my grandson. Oh, or Bruce Willis. I'm sorry, ladies, but you can't get on that rocket. <laughs> If the world wasn't in danger, I'd knit you a sweater, Kate. Let us down, Why make a crocodile into a pair of boots when it couldn't look better than the Manolo Pushnik high-heeled pumps it's already wearing? The Navy Sewer Crocodile is already suffering from a shrinking habitat due to the popularity of low-flow toilets. Ah! 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 Out of pork chops, get ready to run. Remember, good taste never dies, and neither should the animals who wear it. Thank you. <laughs> and that's how we plan to save the Earth. You know, if it wasn't going to end on Thursday, thanks to Pacebook! It's not my fault! to play to make people think you're on the moon. Ha! I can't see! Ha, ha, I'm space blind! No, you ain't. Your face wrinkles floated up over your eyes. Oh, that's better. Wrestling. Great. Blood, headlocks, body slams, you know, kid stuff. Ah! I was right! So what are your plans? I think I'll become a glowy-eyed mutant roaming the blighted terrain in search of human flesh. Booyah. You want human leg, fellow mutant? <laughs> Can I get fries with that? Quite a serious decision. Especially since he used to want to be a lifeguard. Uh, <laughs> even my tears are flat. Now I'll never be a member of the Billionaire Babes Club. Well, then it's all your fault! Mr. Jimmy, where have you been? I've been traveling. It's a circus out there. Man, I haven't had this much fun since those eight million giant bats escaped from that cave and... No, wait, that hasn't happened yet. How can you enjoy this? It's lawless pandemonium out there! Why can't it be like in the movies, where everyone unites in the face of disaster? No, nah, they don't. Of course they do! No, no, watch them again. It's always a ragtag team of loners that does all the work. Plus a goofy tubby kid along for comic relief. And a cute puppy. And sometimes a wise old grandma. While everyone else makes stupid plans that'll never work. If it lands here, I'll jump here. But if it lands here, I'll jump over here. I still think you could have warned me. I told you something big was gonna end. You didn't say it was gonna be the Earth! It is? Oh, this is news! It isn't? Come on, we're buds. 
I'd have told you that. What's the second worst thing besides the world ending? School not ending? Gotta go. School? Red tag team? I'll drill, you drop the dynamite. Get booted? Hey, Agnes, what's Zaz mean for wake up your dumb Zaz man out and fire your retro rockets or junky old space station about to destroy the Earth? Uh, try Neep! Hey, farm boy! Neep! Yikes! Skip the whole you up! I know you've heard a rumor that when the Earth saved from Smockford Geddon, you don't have summer school to make up for lost work. But it's not true. Oh, oh yes, yes, it, it is. is. Uh, on second thought, school's out.